Welcome to the must-have deer hunting gear for the bow hunter. I'm Keith Cantelmo, and I'm going to go over the top five must-have items. Now, when you're planning on heading out there to do some whitetail deer hunting, the gear you have is often comprised of numerous things. While most of the gear is considered a necessity, other gear is more for comfort. Some items should definitely be considered must-haves, however. For those who are new to bow hunting, we're going to put a list of those must-have items that you should definitely have in your deer hunting gear up for you in a minute. I would like to tell you that picking out your own bow is definitely a very personal task. As a matter of fact, it is such a personal task and one that's very important that I am going to devote an entirely different video to just how to do that. But now let's get back to the list. The first item on the list, of course, is a bow and arrow. Now, whether you're going to use a traditional bow, a crossbow, or a compound bow, it really doesn't matter. What you need is a weapon that offers the best delivery system, one that's accurate, fast, and designed for distance. Now, let's not forget the arrows. The goal is to choose what works best for the bow that you've selected but also provides enough length and stiffness for a clean kill. Just so you know, if you're in a pro shop looking for bow, a bow and arrow, sometimes arrows are called missiles or bolts. I would encourage you to make sure that you choose the best quality possible when it comes to your arrows, even if it means paying a higher price. Now, the second item on the list is clothing. Obviously, camouflage is the best option. There are times of the year, if you're hunting during rifle or muzzleloader season, when you'll need to wear hunter orange. Other items that you'll want to include as part of your deer hunting gear would be waterproof gloves, rain bibs, a heavy wool sweater, long underwear, wool socks, and proper boots. The next item up on the list is scent masking. Hey, if you've done any kind of deer hunting, you know that deer have a keen sense of smell. It's imperative that you get a top brand scent killer to mask the smell of the human odor. This product alone could make the difference between bagging that trophy deer or going home empty-handed. Next item up is the hunting backpack. When moving out into the field, you need to have miscellaneous items with you. The goal to carrying those items is to have a backpack that would be comfortable, but also designed to hold these items that you'll need. I would recommend a full-size frame backpack, one that would provide plenty of internal room but it's still easy to carry. Some of the personal items that you'd like to include in that backpack would be a flashlight, first aid kit, compass, map of the area that you're hunting, a small thermal blanket, some rain gear, a hunting knife, binoculars, a camera with batteries, lip balm, some Tylenol or aspirin, insect repellent, sunglasses, sunscreen, especially for that early time in the hunting season, a couple of bottles of water, and obviously some snacks to keep you. The next item up on the list is a map and scouting info. You should spend plenty of time scouting the areas that you plan to hunt. You can do that in person by doing some tracking, looking for deer sign, or by putting up scouting cameras. Those items that you could use to do your tracking are extensive, and we'll discuss those in another video. But based on your scouting expedition, you would likely coordinate with satellite and or topographical maps. All these lead to the success you see on the screen. For more information about trophy deer hunting, check out our website. 
You can click on the link below or visit us at www.TrophyDeerHuntingSecrets.com. Thank you for watching and you'll see us in our next video.